everybody, it's me again. It's um, February 5th, 2013, VLCD number 125, and um, today was my last injection. I am the same weight as I was yesterday and pretty much as I have been for the past several days. I am 118.4 on my old broken scale and 119 on the new scale. So um, no changes there and uh, I'm fine with that. I, I really think that that means that I'm going to have a much easier time stabilizing. So, um, And not only that, but I think that this is just where my body wants to be. Um, looking back in my notes from, from uh, my extended round from before, I pretty, I pretty much have the same, um, the same journey has unfolded, you know, the same losses and, and hiccups and goose eggs and stuff at the same time in the, um, in the extended round. And I, my body's even stopping at the same weight, pretty much. So, um, at that's when I did um, my extended round before, my body stopped at, um, I think it was um, 118 uh, or 119. Between the two, I had problems with scales then too, and uh, so it was it was pretty much the same weight. And then um, for the first few days of um, P2, I dropped down to like 116. Um, I think I even went as low as 115, but that's not where my body wanted to be. So um, I ended up, you know, going back to the 118, 119. And um, so I, I expect that's probably what's going to happen this time. I do still have inflammation, and then last night I had more sodium than I had intended to. I cooked my spinach, um, which I haven't done this whole round. I've been eating um, raw greens, um, and last night I decided to cook my spinach, and I had tilapia. So I did use some um, organic chicken stock, and um, in addition to that, I used some... Himalayan salt and I guess I went overboard so I'm probably um, more retaining more water than normal um, but I don't think that that I don't think that um, had I not had the sodium that the scale would have really said anything different today I'm, I'm fine with that with the with the end uh, the end reading of 18.4 um, uh, anyways, one thing I do want to put out there, it's a question, and I've asked this question before, and I know Delman has gone over it with me, but I'm a Lulu head, I forget, and um, I'm going to ask it again, and I should know this, but uh, and it's probably in pounds and inches, and I should pull it out and read it again. I want to know why uh, we take the weight of our last injection and our last injection weight the morning that we do our injection it's that that weight am i making any sense it just seems to me like it would be tomorrow morning whatever the scale would be would be the weight that i would be going by because because this morning's weight is from what i did the day before so today is the last day. Am I making any sense? <sighs> um, I don't know. I feel really spacey. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about, but I need to get organized. And um, I need to get organized. So I'm going to do that. I, I am going to go. I'm going to get organized and I'm going to do um, my stats and everything for you guys in, a, in another vlog. Um, some some interesting things have come up. I uh, am going to be uh, putting together a plan for a friend of mine. She's going to be starting HCG and she's going to be loading over the weekend. And um, she's 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 not uh, a, going to be a vlogger. And I don't really think she's even going to watch vlogs. And um, you know she just works a lot and doesn't doesn't have um, the. She, 
you know, she just she just doesn't have the patience to um, to delve into all the details like uh, some of us have, and um, so I'm going to help out with that. I'm I'm going to cook and um, and kind of be the cheerleading coach uh, from the sidelines and and help pay it forward. Uh, so. So I, I will be able to um, share with you guys on my P3 and on her first P2, her first round. So um, yeah, so that will be uh, <sighs> something more to blog about. Um, yesterday I told you guys that I used um, cacao powder on my uh, mixed berries and this is the brand, the Goba. I know I'm not saying that right. Uh, it's organic and um, it's unsweetened cacao powder and I ordered this from Lucky Vitamin. I order a lot from them. But um, when I went to um, Fresh Market yesterday, they had the unsweetened um, bars of chocolate there. So um, that could be interesting too. I might, I might get some of that at some point. You know, when I'm ready, ready to, to be more experimental in P3. Um, and two, today I'm drinking a tea that somebody gave me. It's um, Headley's Royal uh, Kiwi Pear Green Tea. I don't know where it came from. I just, I got to say, it's really, really good. And um, the tea that I had, courtesy of Squeakerwood last night, um, the Republic tea, uh, red velvet, it was good. I loved it. Um, but it, it, I could use some cream. But uh, obviously, I'm not allowed to have cream, so yeah, what are you going to do, right? Hmm. It's necking on my finger. Offered my support. I'm going to be like a cheerleader coach. And um, I'm even going to do some meal preparation for her. And so in addition to my reporting in on my P3, I will probably also give some reports on her progress as well. So that'll be fun. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. And this is turning into a 10 minute vlog. And uh, we know that you guys don't like to watch 10 minute vlogs. I do want to say that uh, Andrea is locking and loading, um, I believe, on the 7th and the 8th. So, um, happy lock and load it. And, um, and I'm, I'm glad that you'll be vlogging again. I'm, I'm really, like, sorry that you went through such, you know, family tragedy and stresses and stuff. And I hope that you get back on track. And that this um, round that you're going to start is a great success. So um, that's it. I'm pushing up.